So I went today to check the oil in the car, and as I pull out the dipstick, half of it's missing. It's fallen in the hole. It's broken, and it's fallen in the hole. Here's a close-up view of the dipstick. It's all metal, but as you get to the end, it's plastic. And that plastic piece is now broken off, and it's still inside the engine. So we're going to go down and remove the oil pan from underneath to see if we can find that broken piece. We are going to start by just removing the engine oil by removing the drain plug, just like a normal oil change. And then we're gonna reinsert it. Now we're evenly gonna remove the tension on all of these 10 millimeter nuts that are surrounding the oil pan. Okay, it looks like we finally have it loose. Alrighty, so as you take a closer look at this, now that we have the oil pan off, this is the, the oil pickup tube, and I think there's a little screen in here. And let's, and look at this, look what's caught in this. Ooh, that's the other part of our dipstick. So I would say this is a success. Yeah, I just have a utility knife blade on this holder and just trying to get any kind of uh, gasket material or any kind of permatex that might have been there before. So we're just trying to scrape this and then we're going to clean it up before we install it. Yeah, it needs a very detailed cleaning. Put just a little bit of gasoline and use that to kind of rinse it all out and we'll just make sure you clean it nice and properly any of these small shavings of the old Permatex make sure you get it all out nice and clean and then we'll do the same thing with the lower part of the engine we just want to clean the mating surface make sure all foreign old gasket materials and other foreign objects are nice and clean okay we're going to be using this Permatex Ultra Black this is the maximum oil resistance gasket maker. This is what's meant for oil pans. And we're just going to apply some. Now you want to apply enough, but you don't want to overdo it because this stuff will spread. Now you're going to take your finger and just kind of rub it. Rub it around, make sure it's all spread properly. Okay, once you have it all spread all nicely, now we're gonna go install it. Okay, and then we are going to align it and just reseat it. And we'll start by putting the nuts on, the two nuts, and then the rest of all the bolts. And when we tighten them, we're just gonna make them snug, and then we're gonna do the final tightening in an even cross pattern. Here's a little close-up of the old engine oil dipstick. It broke from right above the full mark. It looks like this is a common issue in these Camrys and other engines. Uh, because the newer models, as well as all replacement dipsticks, are all metal. And since all the oil is drained out of the engine, I'm going to take the opportunity to change the oil filter, and then, you know, completed a full oil change at the same time too. <laughs> 